Welcome to another video, and today we are playing Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth Fish Combo. But we're taking advantage of Small World. Small World is going to let us search for any monster in our deck, basically. And the way you do it, you reveal a monster in your hand. We revealed the Buzzsaw Shark. You make sure you have a bridge in your deck. Our bridge is Tenu Spirit Mish Mapura. It, it's fire, it's level 4, but it's got everything else not in common with all our cards in our deck. And that's going to let us get the Summoner Monk. And Summoner Monk is a 1.5 card combo. You need to have a spell in hand to discard, but pretty easy. We got a high spell count here. We're going to Lifeless Leaf Fish, and we're going to go off. Now every event, there's a new ban list. You got to make a new extra deck for this deck, because it's really easy to start vomiting fish on the field. But once you start vomiting fish, you got to figure out what's your plan, what are you going to make? Of course, you're going to start with the Super Ancient Deep Sea King. We sent him to the graveyard with the Leaf Fish. We're going to discard, and I'm going to show off what I think is one of the best boards to make. We're going to make an Aria the Water Charmer. This is just to clear up space. We're going to Synchro Summon Monoceros. Going to get the fish back, so it is not a once, once per turn. Not a hard once per turn, so we can activate it again. Let's special summon the fish back onto the field. And now we can make... Well, we're going to draw first, but now we can make an Appaloosa using these four monsters. So we really used our first fish vomit to make a four negate Appaloosa, which is pretty good. Four negate Appaloosa is nothing to, nothing to joke about. And now we get to do it all over again. And now we get to make some pretty cool monsters. We're going to go for Dragite, negate spells. And with the rest of our monsters... We're going to make Coral Dragon. There are a lot of things you can make here. We're going to make Coral Dragon, get a token from the Oystermeister. We're going to use those two other monsters to make a White Aura Bahamut. You need to use a Tuner Synchro monster, that's why I made the Coral Dragon. Coral Dragon also going to draw us a card. Very cool. And then you guys got to see, can your opponent get through your board? You even can make a nice little Link Rebo to negate one monster attack. And whatever else you have at hand. Still use. We got Ash Blossom, we got Call By. I'm only gonna activate Dragon Shrine. And we don't have to Ash this, probably base, but we're gonna Ash it anyway. Get Ash it. We still got Spell Negate, we got four Monster Negates. And opponent is done, they are not gonna see any more of this. Alright, well that was pretty sweet, but opponents aren't always gonna make it so easy for you, so I'm gonna show you a bunch of games. If you wanna see the full deck list, it's gonna be at the end of the video. Let's get going. All right, so there's lots of ways to do this combo. Basically what you gotta do is figure out a way to get Super Ancient Deep Sea Coelacanth either into your graveyard or into your hand. Now take a look at this hand here. Now we drew an Ice Jade tomorrow, it's gonna make it very easy, uh, but we could make a rank fork Z, use Foolish Barrier Goods to send an Ice Barrier, send the Coelacanth to the graveyard and then Dugaris can summon him, but that's gonna lock us into waters. And if we're gonna lock ourselves into waters, we might as well use the Ice Jade tomorrow. But opponent, for a reason I don't understand, is activating Maxi in response to the Foolish Barrel Goods. Now they special summon a Dramaturge on their, their turn, which is going to negate the effect of the first monster we summon. That's an XZ Synchro or Link monster. So we're just going to pass here. Not going to let opponent draw any cards. They're playing Despia in the Theme Chronicle event. I don't think they can OTK me. So we're just going to give them their shot. Let them take their shot. They got 3,000 damage. Uh, and we're not dead. So we get another chance. Opponent with a second maxi. Well, this time we drew the out. Ash Blossom negate. Forbidden Droplet, we're gonna hold on to. to negate the Dramaturge. Let's activate Ice Bear in the graveyard. Now we are locked into waters. But you can be locked into the waters and do this combo. There's lots of cards you can make. Don't even worry about it. Let's lock ourselves into waters with the Ice Bear. Special Summon Deep Sea King. And we're going to get activating. Now, I did not need to set this. I don't know why I set it, actually. Probably should have just kept it in hand, but it's all good. We're going to activate. Opponent is not able to respond yet. They have to wait till we summon a Synchro XC or Link. And we're going for this Synchro right now, because the opponent has a mystery back row. We don't want him to get us with that mystery back row while we got this droplet. So we're making the, the, the Adamant's Pater Rhythm Dragon to negate a spell trap. Now opponent's going to go for their monster negate. Now we use the droplet. We're going to send that. Not very useful Foolish Barrel gets from the field. 
negate the Dramaturge. And now, it's free rain. It's fish combo. But we gotta do it under water lock this time. So, Manasra's gonna get the Super Ancient Deep Sea King. We are going to special summon the Silent Angler from hand. Make a Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark. Activate Lifeless Leaf Fish to draw. I still draw one here. Activate, discard, special summon some more fish. Synchro Shokan into the White Aura Whale. He's gonna destroy all attack position monsters, and he has piercing battle damage. And now we're gonna get him for easy lethal 2400 attack. Damage, sorry, with the Monoceros, with the Dragite, and with the Hope Woven. Easy lethal against Despia in the Team Chronicle event. But let's go on to the next game. Now, due to the degeneracy of our combo, the Super Ancient Deep Sea King is very, very weak to hand traps, and sometimes you don't draw the right pieces, and you're in trouble. Opponent with the Lightning Storm, and activating a trade in, gonna discard to draw two, and they are playing Blue Eyes, so we're gonna negate here. Negate with the Ash. They did discard a Blue Eyes White Dragon here. And they are setting one. This is almost certainly one of their eggs. The blue eyes eggs, not great. And we, we don't draw in a combo. So what am I doing here? Well, this is a big mistake. <laughs> what I'm doing. I thought that I could summon the Ash Blossom and then special summon Silent Angler. But uh, I, I forgot that uh, Ash Blossom is fire, not water. So uh, that's not going to work. Now, I could summon my Silent Angler, make a level 7. But I'm not ready to do that yet. So I kind of wasted my... My monster reborn here. I'm going for a dragon shrine. Now we know they have nothing, so we're going to negate with our second ash. We're going to hope for the best here. Now this egg probably can't get over our ash blossom. Drawing into Silent Angler means we can rank 4xz, so we're going to go for it. Makey Heartland Draco. Going to let us attack directly. Make a Zeus. So we're going to make Zeus. Get Zeus in. Next turn, we can tribute our Zeus and our Ash Blossom to summon the Deep Sea King, discard the card we draw, go fish combo. But opponent draws in Raigeki, oh my goodness, opponent. Now, we're not even gonna activate because we don't wanna send our egg to the graveyard. And opponent has Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, this is the bane of my, I don't know why, this card is so annoying. It's attack trigger, when it, when it battles, it sends a card uh, to the hand. And it's very easy to get that trigger to resolve. Drawn into Butunipal. Let's see if we can get through this. It's gonna summon the Buzzsaw, make a rank four. Still no way to summon our Deep Sea King. So we're gonna activate Dugaris second mode, draw two, discard a card. Discarding the Foolish Burial. And we can keep, keep going. We're gonna activate Lifeless to draw. Hopefully draw something useful, and we draw into the Tremora, which is actually going to let us go full combo. But, we're locked into XZs, which I forgot about. <laughs> Lots of misplays right here, right now. When we summoned our Buzzsaw Shard, we locked ourselves into XZs. So, I should just be getting a bunch of XZ materials. Unfortunately, I've used all my XZs. Uh, so, I don't actually have any more XZs to make. So, we're just going to go into the Hope Woven. And we're going to hope for the best here. Now we could attack into this Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, activate the Hope Woven effect to reduce his attack, but opponent's going to send one of our cards to hand and we don't, we don't want that, so we're just going to wait here. Likely they could resummon the Jet Dragon. Opponent normal summoning Blue Eyes White Dragon and going in for the attack. Now we don't actually want, well it doesn't matter, but we're saving our materials on the Hope Woven uh, because if we just made the Blue Eyes die, we're getting the Jet Dragon. We are trying to play around Jet Dragon. Reduce the attack points. Opponent bouncing our Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark. Popping the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. And activating Return of the Dragon Lords. Special summoning the Jet Dragon. So we have another chance. We're not locked into Xyz anymore. Opponent has the very annoying Jet Dragon. The other annoying thing about this, it activates in the damage step, which means we cannot negate it with Appaloosa. Now, what do we do here? We destroy a card, they summon another Blue Eyes Jet Dragon from the graveyard. We're gonna make Link Freebo. We're gonna activate. 
the Lifeless Leaf Fish draw a card. So we had to skip our draw phase. Now we got something to discard. Let's go into fish mode. So many Coral Dragon. Get our token. Increase the attack points of the Coral Dragon. But how do we get through this board of Blue Eyes White Dragons? Now, we got a lot of stuff in our extra deck. But one of the things we got is White or Bahamut. Now, is this the right thing to make? Well, we'll find out. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because we're going to get the token. And the token is going to let us make the ultimate boss monster. Let's special summon Black Luster Soldier, Soldier Chaos. He cannot be targeted. He cannot be targeted. That means he gets around Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. So we're just going to attack into this Abyss Dragon. Get a nice little attack point boost on this. And opponent should not be able to get through Black Luster Soldier. We should be safe. Opponent got another Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Very not cool opponent. We've had enough of those. Enough Blue Eyes Jet Dragons. Thank you very much. And now our attack's 40,500. He cannot be targeted because we use a level 10 monster as material. Opponent polymerizing. No, I do not like to see this. I'm having flashbacks at dueling skill. Add polymerization to your hand. Opponent. Seto Kaiba. Of course they got it, but they're going into Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. That is not what I expected. I was not expecting that at all. This can attack all of our monsters once each. Luckily our little Karibo is going to save us. Opponent just murdering our White Aura Bahamut by killing the token with the Jet Dragon. Very not cool opponent. Opponent attacking with the Jet Dragon. Leaving our Blackluster Soldier all on his own, but opponent should not be able to get through. Blackluster Soldier is essentially immune. Let's see if opponent can handle more Blackluster Soldier attacks. Now, what can we do here? Nothing with these monsters in hand. These are pretty useless. So we're attacking. Opponent stopping us from getting a battle destruction. So Blackluster Soldier has to destroy a monster to activate his effect. So by banishing that Return of Dragons, uh, we don't get the trigger. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. We still got this. Opponent Bingo Machine Go. All right, they're adding blue eyes dragons to hand. More blue eyes white dragons. And a second polymerization. Opponent finally reading the card uh, and getting the twin burst dragon. Now this is, this is Duel Links. This was a card that was just the most annoying card in Duel Links. And I know what it does. It attacks and if it doesn't destroy a monster by battle, that monster gets banished non-targeting. So now we are dead. That's it, blue eyes had the out. Top deck two polymerizations. Hey, you know what? We tried our best sometimes. Sometimes Fish does not have it. All right, let's go on to the next game. All right, we have a pretty solid hand here. Foolish Barrel can send the Super Ancient Deep Sea King straight to the graveyard. Drawn into a copy of the Super Ancient Deep Sea King though. Let's activate Foolish Barrel because I usually do this just to bait out uh, Ash Blossoms from the opponent. Opponent not doing anything though. Let's try again with Foolish Barrel. Nothing from the opponent. Lifelessly fish. There we go again. Our response finally. Imperm gonna target the leaf fish. That is fine. That effect was gonna send the super ancient deep sea king to the graveyard. But we already got him in hand, so that wasn't gonna do anything. Let's go into Dugaris. Activate to special summon the Coelacanth from the graveyard. An opponent also has a droplet. Droplet gonna negate the Dugaris. Alright. Well, we're out of stuff to do. Or are we? Now we actually have the ability here to activate in the graveyard this Ice Barrier. And with Ice Barrier we could get an Ice Jade Tremora which we could use to special summon the Deep Sea King. So why did I not do that? Well maybe I was just so salty about the Forbidden Droplet that I forgot that I could do that. Let's pass the opponent. Sometimes, sometimes salt is necessary. Let's add the Tremora to hand now. Now that we remember what we're supposed to be doing. Opponent pass it back to us. And let's get going. Just kidding. I'm re remembering now why I couldn't do it. Silent Angler. You activate Silent Angler, you can't special summon monsters from your hand for the rest of this turn. I'm not misplaying. I'm just not even remembering how my cards work. Alright, we played correctly. Opponent with the max C, we are going to negate. Ash Blossom negate. I don't remember how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a lot of rules. Ash Blossom negate Maxi, usually the correct correct thing to do. 
Let's special summon Coelacanth, and now it's time to go for it. Activate effect. An opponent is not willing, not willing to see it through. They are done. They're out of here. Let's go on to the next game. A lot of interesting decks in the theme chronicle. All these hand traps are very powerful, and they're very strong against the meme decks, so hand traps, as you can see, opponent with the maxi, hand traps are very good still. And they are kind of equalizing the game. I know people complain about the hand traps, but well, Maxi in particular is a bit a bit of a big offender. We're gonna try and just play a Maxi. Uh, opponent also has Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom gonna negate, stop the fish combo from working. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of hand traps. So this deck, very susceptible to every hand trap. Imperm, Ash Blossom, Maxi, all gonna put a stop to your combos generally. So uh, opponent playing their own combo deck, scraps. Scrap Dinosaurs, very interesting deck. Only the boss dinosaur was hit by the banlist, so Scrap's still able to do quite a lot of comboing. We do have Hope Open to protect, though. We can activate his effect to reduce the attack points. We might be able to survive a big hit here. The opponent, gonna do Scrap combo things. Now I've played Scrap combo, and I know this combo goes on for a long time. So if it looks like we're in a bad position, we're going to go on to the next game. But right now we still have Hope. We have Hope Woven. Hope Woven has now been destroyed. We're going to try and resummon. And opponent is going to have very easy lethal here. They call by the grave the monster we were going to summon. So let's get out of here. On to the next game. Alright, opponent is playing Scare Claws. We are not scared though. Without the Scareclaw boss monster, I'm not really sure what Scareclaws can put up, but we'll see. I'm going to wait for Foolish Barrel. Activating the field spell, searching for more Scareclaws. And they're going to special summon a 4 material Appaloosa. Going to have 4 monster negates. Well, you know what? That is not a problem at all. Let's draw into the small world. Now, we have a lot of ways to search the combo. But we need to get rid of this Appaloosa first, which is super easy. Let's just activate Foolish Barrel Goods. It's a nice pair to the graveyard. Activate. Search for a nice little Turtle Kaiju. Add that boy to our hand, and let's eat the Appaloosa. An opponent. Seeing the Turtle Kaiju, they are out of here. All right, you know what? That was a great way to end it. Let's go on to the deck list. All right, so here is the full deck list. Now, this deck is very very focused on getting your one combo going and you saw a couple times best way to do it is to find a way to get your super ancient deep sea king in the gra graveyard and then making a rank 4 xc dugaris uh, that's that's really all there is to it now we have a very high spell count here you'll notice i'm not playing any imperm i love imperm but i'm not playing any imperms because we want a really high spell count in this deck you want to have a lot of spells if anything i would say you can play a little bit more spells than this You'll be good. This is a good number of spells though. Uh, I'm not going to count because that's kind of like reading. I'm not doing it. In the extra deck, we got Coral Dragon. We got White Aura. White Aura Whale. White Aura Monoceros. We got the whole White Aura package because we also got the Bahamut. We got Adam Emancipator Risen Dragon. We got Heartland Draco. You saw this. Use it to make Zeus attack directly. Hope Woven. Dugaras. Zeus. We got Link Karibo. Area of the Water Charmer. Just a way to get materials off the field. Abyss Keeper never ended up using this. Awkwardly, a lot of the ways we have to summon two water monsters to the field involve Silent Angler, and Silent Angler does not agree very well with the Abyss Keeper, because he says you can't summon monsters from your hand for the rest of the turn. So a little bit of Nambo synergy there. Maybe that means we should replace Silent Angler with a different fish, but he's kind of the best fish that summons from hand, and we don't want to drop down our fish count too much, because we got to have fish to vomit. We got Blackluster Soldier. You saw him bravely lose us the game against Blue Eyes. Hey, Appaloosa, and an Underworld Goddess uses us to get rid of troublesome monsters. They're unaffected by card effects. Just link them away. All right, that's the full deck list. Hope you like the video. I know there's lots of different combos you can do with this. I've seen other people play uh, different combos. You make different monsters, pull different things from the extra deck. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the best combo I could come up with. Hope you like the video, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.